a very happy and cheerful morning to all my dear students. I hope you all are fine at home and taking care of your health. So, we're back with our science class. And as you remember, we were discussing the worksheet of chapter number 8, Food for Good Health. So, let us continue the worksheet. So, this was your worksheet part. And in this, question number 1, that was, give four examples of each. Now, this we had discussed already in the last class. Okay. Now, let us start with... Question number two, that is, fill in the blanks. Okay, what is it? Fill in the blanks. Now see, if you're writing in the notebook, please make sure that you write the full sentence. Okay, don't just straight away write the answer. Please make sure that you write the question as well. Okay, children, ready? Okay, let's start. Now, A, that is the first one. Food gives us dash to work and play. Food gives us dash to work and play. So, you have two options. That is energy or diseases. What is it? Energy or diseases food gives us dash to work and play does it gives us energy or does it gives us diseases so what is the answer yes it is energy so i will write over here say it with me what is the spelling e n e r G Y. So, what is the answer? Food gives us energy to work and play. Is it clear the first one? Now, moving on to the second one that is B. A laborer needs dash food than a person working in an office a laborer what is it a laborer needs dash food than a person working in an office so what we are doing we are comparing two people that is the laborer and a person who works in the office so how much food does the laborer needs as compared to a person that works in an office. Is it more or is it less? So what is the answer? Yes, the answer is more. A laborer needs more food than a person working in an office. See, we have studied about it that a laborer does physical work. Okay, he does hard work, physical work. And if we talk about the person who works in an office, so that person has a sitting job. So that is why we say that the laborer needs more food as compared to the person working in an office. Is it clear? Now, third one that is C. Dash is a complete food for a newborn baby. Dash is a complete food for a newborn baby. See, so we have studied that a newborn baby cannot eat things. Okay. So, what is a complete food for a newborn baby? Vegetables or milk? Which one? Yes, it is milk. Good. Okay, so I will write over here. See the spelling with me. M 
I L K milk milk is a complete food for a newborn baby a newborn baby does not eat vegetables they only drink milk is it clear now the third the fourth one that is dash helps us digest the food dash helps us digest the food the options are water or junk food now we know that junk food is not good for health isn't it so do you think junk food will help us to digest the food or is it water that will help us to digest the food which one yes that's correct it is water water helps us digest the food so i write over here in the blank space so what is the answer water w a t e r water helps us digest the food is it clear children okay so we'll keep it till here and in the next video we will discuss the answer the following questions okay so till that take care of your health goodbye students may god bless you